Today I decided to try something new, I'm going to have uh, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay in the background from a couple of days ago, but that doesn't matter. Today, or I should say yesterday, that vegan teacher got banned from TikTok. An article from Insider.com says this, Karen, known online as that vegan teacher, has been banned on TikTok. Her account page, which had 1.7 million followers before it was taken down, now only shows a couldn't find this account message that says she was banned for multiple community guideline violations. Here's what the following paragraph had to say. She posted a TikTok duetting Tommy showing off his two golden YouTube play button awards where she pulled out a cucumber and said, nice vegan girls don't want to play with your buttons, but if you want them to play with your buttons, you'll have to show them your fruits and vegetables. Tommy's only 16 years old, and some online, including his fans, found that comment distasteful. Now, I don't know if that vegan teacher was talking about other vegan girls or maybe herself, but either way, that comment is definitely awkward and shady. Anyways, hours after the ban on Tuesday morning, she posted a 23-minute monetized video with the comments turned off on her channel about the ban. In it, she talked about how she's glad that she is no longer a teacher, claiming that a group of teenage boys were what led to her account getting banned and that she was removed because she made them feel that guilt about eating meat. Now, I did see a small portion of the video, but I was more interested in the description because it's much easier for me to read it than to listen. Also because I don't want to show her video on my channel because I think it might get taken down like the Troom Troom video that I did a couple of months ago so I don't want that to happen. But here's one of the first uh, paragraphs of her description. I never quote unquote forced anyone to be vegan. I spoke about animal cruelty on social media and through words I encouraged people to watch important documentaries and become ethical vegans. Now, let's search up the definition of the word forced because it seems like she wants to emphasize that part in this section. So, force means make a way through or into by physical strengths, break open by force. That's the first definition. Here's the second. Make someone do something against their will. Now let's get a deeper meaning of the word force. Force has other meanings as well. A powerful person can exert a force just by using particular words or body language. Written words can exert a force or have a strong influence on your opinion. Now tell me if this definition doesn't fit with this video. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share their song. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. The particular words that she uses in this video are eating and hurting animals. And the last words that she said, vegan from now on, they don't sound encouraging, they sound more forcing. Now what I'm saying can be a bit of a stretch but telling Gordon Ramsay who eats both vegetables and meat to become a vegan from now on, it's not looking good for you. But moving on, here's what the second paragraph had to say. Nobody died. Nobody ever got sick or died because of me. People lied about this to try to discredit me. What I did do is encourage everyone to follow NutritionFacts.org, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and to use Chronometer.com to assure that healthy vegan choices were being made. Now, I'm not aware about people dying or getting sick because of her, but this most likely can just be a hoax, I don't know, honestly. I'm skipping the next two paragraphs and moving on to the fourth one, which is on stalking. I never stalked anyone. I interacted with various people on social media to try to educate them about the unspeakable suffering of animals on factory farms and slaughterhouses that are hidden from our view but that are captured on undercover cameras and can be seen in several documentaries, including WatchDominion.com and Earthlings.com. I don't know how that vegan teacher interacts with other people on social media, but if she tells me that girls like playing with cucumbers rather than buttons, I'm just going to ignore you. Now, me personally, I've never seen documentaries about animal suffering in slaughterhouses and whatnot, but if I did, that wouldn't change me to become a vegan. 
I will likely forget about it because I have more important things to worry about. As for the rest of the description, I honestly don't know what to say because it goes from her eating meat to being anti-Semitic and racist, and I don't have any evidence, uh, like video evidence of her doing such things. That's not to say that she couldn't do these things, but I haven't seen anyone talk about her doing these things, so I can't really say that they really happened. And also because I didn't follow her on TikTok since I don't have TikTok, I don't know the rest of her videos and how they're like. I'm not trying to defend that vegan teacher for only doing minor things, but until I see visual evidence, I can't say that she did all of these things, except for the two that I just mentioned in the video. But I'm sure someone has a TikTok video of her doing one of the things that I just mentioned and still hasn't posted it on YouTube yet. But yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say about that vegan teacher being banned. It wasn't a lot, but I still kind of had to do it since I talked about her previously on this channel. Hopefully this won't have to come up again and maybe I can talk about something else, maybe on YouTube. Anyways, have a good day.